Hello guys, Rod here. Today I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to create info text or intro text in your Arma 3 mission. So for those who has the mod called Eden Enhance uh, installed, you can always go to Attribute under General. So let me minimize everything. So you can see there's a section called intro text. So you can select it and you can put a delay uh, suit your liking maybe two three normally for me i found two or three second delays just nice i'm not be using this so and you can always change the first line second line third line and you can change the style that you want though so it's pretty easy and straightforward and for those who doesn't have the eden enhance mode installed uh you you're gonna have to do the old school way whereby we have to call a script to uh, trigger the uh, intro text so ideally you should copy and paste the script into the uh, init.sqs uh, it's basically a text file whereby you input a lot of script uh, for your mission whereby it will be located in your mission folder for those who are noob like myself whereby you want to keep things very simple and easy so you can always call the intro text via the trigger in the mission editor as well so there's uh there is no requirement to manipulate any init file or whatnot so without further ado let's show you the first script so the first script is called sitrep so i think you'll be pretty familiar with this script uh, uh this intro style because it is the uh, intro style uh, whereby they use in the uh, apex dlc so as usual uh, under condition you can always manipulate uh, to suit your liking example you want uh, blue fort to be present in this particular area you can do so as well so i'm not gonna touch on that assuming that we want the script to be fired as soon as the mission starts so condition is always true I meaning say regardless what happened it will fire the script so let's put a delay you can always play around with the time so you can put one second two three regarding uh, i mean to suit your liking so you can always manipulate the time over here so let's show you how does it look like all right if you can see on the bottom right there you go put your line one put your line two put your line three so we have all three uh, lines being displayed as an intro all right so let me change to this so that it does not interfere with the another script so the next info is, uh, sorry the next intro text is called info text right i think this is pretty familiar for those who play uh, call of duty modern warfare 1 and 2 so as usual you can always manipulate here uh the title second line third line oh yeah i forgot to show the first one so okay you just follow this you can always uh, change whatever uh the title you can put the time uh, some short description etc uh, according to your preferences so let me show you how does the second intro look like there you go pretty cool huh with some cool sound effect so back to this All right, the third one is called textile. So um, you can always change the font, the size, if you will. So this is the title, my mission. Put your line two here. Put your line three here. So let me change the true. Two seconds. There you go. As you can see on the bottom right, you can see the uh, intro text. I don't know why, for some reason, I like that style of intro. Uh, basically, the first tree that you saw is now, which is over here, is the same that you can see here. So, this was a zip wrap. This was the uh, textile. This was the uh, the other one. I forgot what's the name was. So the next two, uh, very unique uh, intro which will be this dynamic text dynamic text is basically just a text pop up in the middle of screen or whatever 
part of the screen you want uh, I'm not sure how to do that but normally I call it in the middle so here you can always manipulate the size the color you have to find the uh, color code uh, the font uh, there are certain uh, supported font in Arma 3 uh, you have to look out for the uh, Arma wiki for it so for it, for example I'm gonna name this mission is Call of Duty so I'm not mistaken this is for the duration and it does have a shadow etc blah blah but I found this is the best setting for this particular intro so as usual you can always change on this side if you want to manipulate the title so condition is true but delay let's put it two seconds Which is pretty nice, just that there are a lot of stuff happening on the screen. I forgot to put this under as this. Since I put both are true, then it fight together. But let me see. Actually, not too bad. Uh, example, let's put maybe three seconds. I'm sorry, I'm just experimenting on how does it look like. Start of the game, how long to be, and your mission. Hey, not too bad. So, as you can see, you can combine. You can combine these two scripts to become a very good title. So, sorry, to become a very good intro. So, enough said. So, let's put that under this so that it will not interfere again. This. And the final one is pretty unique. Ooh, two seconds. So the script is pretty long, it's okay, fear not. So you can always change the part over here, this is the title. And again, you can always uh, adjust this, uh, shadow, color, size, and the font again. So next, the second line, uh, and here the third line. Uh, by the way, this is the intro I used in one of my missions, I uploaded on uh, Steam Workshop. So let's show you how does it look like. It's pretty cool actually. There you go. It has some that uh, typewriting, typewriter style and some cool sound effect. So I guess that's about it for my tutorial on how, on how to do intro. So I just share five basic intro for you to use and play around. I think uh, after much of experiment, I think this five was among the best. And uh, I, if you like this video, I hope you like and subscribe. And I shall see you on the next video. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.